Section 114, How Vectors Transform. Um, if you, if you want to, you start with the vector that is expressed by um, in some basis vectors. And what happens if you want to express this in a different set of basis vectors? So, you know, let's say you have your, your i hat, j hat, and then k hat coming straight at you. And then you want to rotate that somehow. So now you have like, let's say your j hat is pointing that way, i hat is pointing that way, and j and k hat are both. So i hat and k hat are both coming out of the page. You know, you have the same vector. You know, a vector hasn't changed. It's just you're expressing it in different, um, with different components. And the, he walks through like a rotation through two dimensions and then he jumps to it and says that in three dimensions you basically have this this formula uh, some rotation vector um, rotation matrix you have xx uh, xy and the z's and times your ax ay and AZ components. And that's how you uh, rotate the, the components into the new system. And, you know, as a shorthand, you have, uh, I use capital letters, oh well. So I, the ith component of the new component system is equal to the sum from J equals one to three of the IJ component of the rotation vector times the J component of the original axes. So, um, that's that's just basically how you do matrix multiplication. Um, then he talks about tensors. Um, I don't know why you'd want to rotate tensors at this point in your career, but there's a note on how to do it. So I guess if you look back at this book and you know what tensors are and you want to rotate them, then it'll tell you. So pretty simple stuff.